babes welcome 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 back if you're um coming back here and welcome 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 if you're new here i really appreciate you guys for being here um today i'm just going to do an exciting video i did it's another segment or another yeah sure segment in um my the planner series of planner freebies <laughs> which we all know and love and in this one it's going to be for the pocket size planner which i had a lot of fun doing there's a lot of freebies out there for pocket size and yeah, let's just get right into it. But before that we do, I just want to say sorry about my nails. I just did them. They're stick-on nails or glue-on. And I'm really bad at them. The glue just gets literally everywhere. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Really nice and shiny and fresh looking. But I just put these on and they look really ragged. But better than my natural nails, I promise. <laughs> okay, so this is the Moturm Planner. It's in a veg tan in apricot. And Moturms are pretty easily accessible. Sometimes they sell out, like the veg tans, I know they do, but they like to restock them, which is great. And I feel like a lot of people have Moturms too, and it's a fairly, it's one of the more inexpensive planners you can get. So I thought it was a good option to show for this, and I liked the, the style. This is very kind of autumn-y like for me. So this, I'm filming this in September of 2023. So like, it's kind of like autumn themed, but not too much, because I want it to be like, kind of good for like any time of the year but anyways so we'll just open her right up and i actually switched out the 30 millimeter silver rings for the 30 millimeter gold rings and so we just open her up like i just said and this is from my minimal planner um it's such a cool little card it comes on a sheet of a one sheet comes with three cards on it and it's just for like book recommendations this card here is from written treasuries and i will be like linking and writing all the names and everything down below because i know sometimes it's hard to understand or if i talk too fast or something like that but so i want it to everyone to be able to access access them this is from maria plans this card here these cards here are from sticky monster co this one says list which i love which I just kind of tore up the corner a little bit. I just printed it on cardstock. And this one says to do. And then it has a bunch of other sayings on the other ones, like notes and whatnot. This one here, I printed on acetate. It says it's functional. It has the definition. It's from Mary Glam Planner. I just thought it was kind of cute to add in there. And then this one here is from Maria Plans. And also is this one here too. This one says, don't wait, girl. You already have what it takes. I love that saying. So yeah, so that's kind of like the pocket deco I have going on. And then to start it out with, this is from Plain and White. This, the agenda, I know it says 2022, but that really doesn't bother me. Even if it's a different year, I just think the design's really pretty. And what I did is I printed it on acetate and I laminated the acetate to make it a little bit more sturdier. It kind of made it a bit cloudy, but um, I still like the way how it came out. So it's from Plain and White. This is from the Love Lux Plan. It's these beautiful peonies. I printed it on vellum. Then this is from Latua Notes. So I won't I won't keep saying the freebies because this is all freebies, obviously. <laughs> and you're going to be hearing me say the word from a lot, but that's because this video isn't really focused on the systems. It's focused on where to get everything. Um, but there, I, I found a lot of really good inserts along with Deco. Actually, I think I found more inserts than Deco. But this is from, yeah, Latua Notes. It comes in a beautiful bundle. And then the back is from the two notes too, but please excuse my printer as well. It's been printing very streaky. We're having a really love hate relationship these days. And I think it's about time maybe <laughs> to invest in another one. I print the sh crap out of it. So I do get my use out of it, but so I just put some sticky notes in there because the back came out a little bit even more streaky. But that's part of it. The, com the black and white comes out great, but then when it comes to colors, it's not so great. This is from Notaz company or studio 17 a little half page there and then this is something that i made so i wanted to give options like that so this is just a piece of lamination so i just ran a laminating sheet through the laminator but with nothing inside of it so then it comes out clear and pretty sturdy and then these are pockets that i got off amazon they're just adhesive sticky pockets here and i just slid some page flags in them these ones specifically are from plan x toe and then on the back i made my own um task card and how I did this is I took a piece of divider material you know how you can buy the, the packs of dividers from Walmart but they're for the three hole binders I just take those sometimes I make my own dividers out of them sometimes I make little cards out of them and it comes out frosted and I just cut them to the business card size rounded the corners and use my label maker and that's how I got these labels and then with some page flags on there so that's how I make my task cards 
And then we go over here and I have Bellum is from Ivy Mill Inc. Work on you. This beautiful one is from Ash Plants. And I hole punched it on the wrong side. This is the actual the front. I mean, you can't even tell. The front and back are both, even, both evenly as beautiful. But you can tell. You can see her name there properly there. And then this is something that I just posted. It's um, one of my new freebies. It's just a rose. And I have my freebies listed down below as well. And it's actually kind of inspired by a... A deco dashboard that I saw from iHeart to Plan. It hers is in color. It's a colored, like pink, beautiful rose. But I just saw this. I just made it on Canva, and I just thought it was kind of reminiscent of that. So thanks you for the inspiration. And then this is from His Chandra, and it's for 2023. And then on the back, I have something from Demi Rose Plants. Some beautiful peonies. This is another one of my freebies. It's just like a table of contents and it just, it, it doesn't have everything in order. It's just kind of more for the design and it has different sections that could be in your planner. And of course this is 2022. Of course it's, I made it last year, but it's 2023. This, I can't print it out a little bit smaller. And of course it looks like the, my printer got all streaky on it, but it kind of, I think it kind of looks neat how it, it's a little bit faded. So, and I could use it as like a deco card. So I didn't want to waste it. So what I did is I hole punched it and kind of used it more of a journaling card. And on the back is from Demi Rose Plants. And then this, these section covers right here are from uh, Maria Plants. This one's just an inbox. And again, my printer, not her inserts. It's my printer, got a little streaky there. This is from Ash Plants, this one here, I love it. And then on the back, I printed something from Ash Plants as well. Then we have um, a 2023 year at a glance. It's from Alicia Sierra. And I'll link that in the description box too. So it's hard to know what how to spell names and whatnot. I totally get it. And then this is, um, so I made these dividers uh, myself. What I did is I took a piece of three millimeter lamination. So it's not too thick, it's quite flexible still. And I just measured out the size of a pocket, which is 3.25 inches by 4.75 inches and then I leave like half an inch on the side to make a tab and these ones I just cut It's easy because I cut just a straight line. I didn't try to round the corners, which I kind of suck at So I just straight line here and then just snipped it right here for the sides with a pair of scissors And I used my paper trimmer for the rest of it and then I used my label maker again to make the labels there So the first section I use is the inbox and then these section dividers are from salty 22 gorgeous Oh my gosh, again, it wouldn't be one of my photos if I didn't have some pet hair clubbed somewhere, sorry. <laughs> and then I just had a sticky note here. You can just really zhuzh up the back of an insert if you don't want it plain with just a, a sticky note or something like that. And then this is a getting things done insert by Prez, Pretty Prez, sorry. And on the back is another one of my new freebies. This is an inbox it insert by Plan with B, so you can just list out your things that you don't want to forget. And then here's an inbox insert by SM Plans. I like that one too. I like the size of the spacing of the lines. This is an inbox insert, a different kind of style from Studio LTE. And what you could do is you could put like later, urgent, and then done, and then list your tasks there, and then check off whichever one applies to it. And then this is actually my favorite kind of layout for an inbox. It's just little boxes. And this is from Nada Notes this insert here and then here's another one of those ones like with a checklist and it's from rose and mist and this one says add to your planner but you could use it for your inbox as well so i actually put it here like the gtd system so you could and it's editable you can put um in adobe you just write in your own like things in here so it comes blank and then you could just write your own stuff in there so i put like action someday waiting on delegate and then you could put done or whatever you can have your done checkbox here so that's another nice one this is one of my new freebies as well that i just made printed that one on bedlam this is a bold insert from colored cafe and again i printed it on acetate and i laminated the acetate for longevity and then here's another one from ash plants oh my gosh should i i hole punched it backwards too that is so crazy what is going on luckily you can't tell but there's her name properly <laughs> And then this one here is from Life as Monica. It's beautiful. Yeah, um, it comes out clear. Again, it's my printer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The, and then this is uh, from Life as Monica as well. And then here's another one of my freebies that I just came out with. Kind of like faces. And then here's another one. I just kind of like the floral port borders. You can use it on over really any insert and it looks good. And then here's another Life as Monica. It's like the curated wardrobe. Thought it was cute. And on the back is planning with K, and I love this. I'm sorry for what I said before I had my coffee. It's one of me, and my it's one of my mom's and my favorites. <laughs> and then on the next section is lists and like notes. So again, salty twenty two, 
And then we have a brain dump trigger list from brown underscore plans. And then the back coffee print is from Marge Plans. So I just kind of mix it up. It's really fun to like mix and match inserts because you can just print one side and then you flip the paper over and then you print whatever you want on the other side. You just have to learn how your paper comes, feeds in and out of your printer. And then once you know that, it's um, easy sailing from there. And then I just test it. Like I just take a little, I just take a pen and I write down here like in the corner an arrow where I'm, so that's where I would feed it. And then you know if the print comes up on this side you know how to, you just have to remember which way you put it in the printer. I hope that made sense. Um, this is a cleaning list from the planner spot. And then this is a trigger list um, for planning and goal setting from the planner spot as well. And then we have some task reminders here from Plan with B. And hers comes front and back as well. Beautiful floral design in the back. And then, then here's a packing list by the planner spot. And the planning, the planner spot, you have to sign up for her email list. And that's how you get the password to access her freebies. And then this is that um, rose and mist insert again. So I just put it in this section because I put add to planner. So the set, the um, categories that I put on here are inbox, agenda, miscellaneous, finance, wellness, trackers. So you could write the insert here and then check off what section it goes into. Just another way how to use it. And then this is a really fun insert that just, my minimal planner just came out with. 31 movies to watch in October. Whoa, it's coming up to Halloween, one of my favorite holidays. And then on the back, you can actually make your own list, which is cool. And then here's another DIY project. So this is a vellum from um, uh, Plan With B. And her, it's a vellum that you print on the entire page and it comes out. Or you can print it on normal paper too. You can print it on whatever you want. But I printed it on vellum and then I cut out the size of the bookmark that I wanted, laminated it, and then I cut slits with a pair of scissors into the holes after I hole punched it so I can pop it in and out of the planner easily. And so that's kind of like you can make your own bookmark that way. You could even cut it on if you don't have a laminator, just um, print it on cardstock, something a little bit thicker than normal paper so it can hold up a little bit better and pop it in and out easier. And then this is one of my freebies. It's just for the planner sizes, um, so to reference. And then here's a freebie from the Love Lux Plans. And then these are some notes inserts from Hey Planner Girl. And you can actually edit up here what it says. So I put notes. And yeah, no, it's such a great freebie. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's a checklist. Always gotta have your basic checklist in your planner. This is a really, I like, it's not August anymore, but I just love the design of it. And I like how faint the graph is, or the grid. And it's from, this is Minimaline Co., but her Instagram is Mellow Archive. Again, I'll put it in the description box. And then here are some notes inserts from Plan with B with the pretty florals on this side in the corner. And then we have a project planner from Not a Nose. I hole punched it wrong. That was my bad. But yeah, no, I show it's a great. You can put your title there, description, and all your action steps there. So it's pretty basic and it kind of covers everything that you would kind of need to track in a on a basic project and then you have therapy notes which is from my minimal planner and i don't use these just for therapy i use them for any notes because i really love just how bold the title is and you can have there's a spot for the date and you, they're then the nice i like the thickness of the lines and then this is from ash plans this pretty notes insert and so that kind of sums up the notes in the inbox section and then this actually says i don't know if you can see it says september in review so it's journaling prompts and i cut and i cut it at or i sorry I, it's October in review on the back. So I printed it front to back and I printed it at 60%. So it's like tinier. And then I hole punched it to make it like a journaling card um, in here. And it's from journaling home. And then this is another kind of like DIY thing. Um, I'm not sure if Daiso is accessible to every, well, obviously not, nothing's accessible to everyone. Duh. But like Daiso, I know it's in the States and it's in, in here in Canada. Um, I'm sure it's in Japan because it's a Japanese dollar store. But um, this is like a clear A7 card holder, document holder. And what I did was I just hole punched it. And then you can put like planner deco inside or like I have a task card that I made. Dear Planner Girl is from Journaling Home. And then this is from my minimal planner. This is that don't wait card again from Maria Plans. And then this vellum here is from Magic Meets Paper. She has a lot of really beautiful freebies. And this is from Jax Journal. And then some sticky notes. This is from either Never Paperland or Journaling Home. I think it's Never Paperland. I'll put them both in. You want to check them both out because they have beautiful freebies. And on the back, it's just like a really pretty autumn quote from Maya Angelou. And then here's another one of my new freebies. Um, be gentle with yourself. And then this is from Latua Notes. It comes in that bundle. So it says pumpkin. It's so cute. So I thought it was kind of cute. Like, be gentle with yourself, pumpkin. <laughs> 
And then, so I put a sticky note here on the back because it's kind of printed off kilter, but it's one of Latua Notes freebies. But again, it looks way better if your printer is actually working. And then this is from Twines and Paper. And then we're on to the weekly section. And then here's another, this is from Maria Plants Weekly. And then this here is one of my new freebies too. It's another like floral border thing. And then we have a Latua Notes sweater weather, cuddle sweater, pretty. And then Latua Notes in the back. And then this week on one page is from Nada Plants. So it's really basic, but it like totally hits a spot if you just want something really functional. So it has your Monday to Sunday, and then you just write the date, what like number it is in here after, below the letter. And then you just write your plans and your to-dos and stuff on the side. And then here's a week on two pages from Not A Notes, and it's really reminiscent of the cloth and paper ones that I love and use, um, the vertical style. This is where you just have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This week section, you could put a little calendar in here. You could put to-dos, priorities. And in here, you just put the number right beside it of the day. And yeah, no, so I really, and it's lined too, which keeps your writing nice and straight. And then here's another ruler that I made out of, I printed it upside, or I punched it upside down, my bad. But this is a uh, vellum from the Cozy Planner. She has really beautiful, like devotional freebies too. So I made it the same way as I made the other one. Pop that in there. And then here's a week on one page from Alicia Sierra. And it's a, yeah, we got one page, like I said, and it's got grid on the right-hand side, blank on the left. So I would put like my main standout plans on the left-hand side. You can put the number of the day right beside the weekday. And then you can put like to-dos over here. And then we have another one from Alicia Sierra. And this reminds me of the Infinite Lotus um, week on one page that is so popular. And I love it. It has two task lists. So you can do like work and personal. And then it has your Monday to Sunday like overview. And then you have three boxes for priority. And then you have a line here where you can put the month. I really love this insert. And then here's another week on two page from Alicia Sierra. I think she changed her name to Analog Alicia. Alicia, I could be saying that so wrong. That is another reason why I like to put it in the description box because I'm not always sure I'm um, pronouncing things correctly. But it's a week on two page. And then, so you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to Sunday. And then you have your spot here. I would put appointments and then like little um, to-do list and then priorities up here. And then here's one from Papier Flateur. I believe that's French. And I love this one too. It's really functional. Um, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. But even for pocket, it works super well with having limited space. You have your to-dos over here. You have a nice, generous, like, memos area. And then you have your Monday to Friday. And then you have your weekends over here. But you're not losing any space for your weekends because it's about the same size as these horizontal, but they've just been turned vertically. So I feel like you you have so much space used on here, but it doesn't look cluttered. So I really like those ones. And you have a spot for your year, too, and your month, which I really like. And then these ones here are from Gen B Plans. And oh, she's such a sweetheart. She made some really cool freebies. And this one has all, gra all grid. And your Monday to Sunday, Monday to Friday, you work week over here. And then you got your weekend over here, which is cool. And then you have a spot for your calendar. You, so you can write in the dates and then highlight what week it is. And then tasks and then a little spot for notes. So that's really functional. And then here's a, a two page weekly from Bite Size Plans. And it's cool because it has, okay, so it has your Monday to Sunday right here where you can put like your appointments, your task list over here, notes. Um, you can put a tracker right here or you can put like the, so you can put your tracker and then put what you're tracking right here and then check it off. Or you can even use this as like a calendar and write in the calendar and this have more notes. And then you have this big grid section over here for your schedule. So you can put your times in here from like eight to like 10 or 11 or whatever it goes to, whatever your timeline needs to be. And then you just time block. Um, what is ever going on in your week. So this is really cool. That's a freebie. And then, so that's the weeklies. And then we have Manifest the Shit. That's from Professor, Planning Professor. It's awesome. And then we have a fall mood board here from EO Edits. And then this is a, from Back to Basics. Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. <laughs> and then this is a freebie from Planner Ready. And I just printed on acetate and laminated it again. And then we have another Latua Notes freebie and Latua Notes. And then this is from um 25 trail designs that's how you say it yep that's yeah, really awesome and then we're on to the dailies so again for maria plants and then this is kind of another diy thing i tried to add a few diy things in here with things that aren't very expensive um it's from the dollar store actually dollarama has these packs of like beautiful cardstock design paper and they're about four bucks 
And so I just took one of those and I cut out um, pocket sized and I hole punched it. So I use it as a dashboard and, I, and it looks really pretty behind a piece of vellum. And then this little sticky note here is from Daiso as well. And then here's one of my favorite all time daily inserts, like even from purchased ones. It's from Pop and Pages Co. And I love how it has a little box for morning, afternoon, and evening. Your tasks over here, I write the date in here, nice and big, and then a little spot for notes. And here's one from Not a Notes, and this one comes through your schedule, and it's a very generous schedule. It comes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. So that should cover a lot of people's schedule. And then you have your to-dos, your priorities, and your date. And then here's Gen B plans. We have a beautiful task list, and then the today section where you can just write like if you have an appointment going on. And then another one from Gen B plans. It's the same layout, but it just has grid. And then another Furby is from Alicia Sierra, and it has your timeline over here, little priorities, little task lists, and little notes. And I, you can highlight what day of the week it is. Love it. And this one is one of my all-time favorite autumn freebies from Zarina Plans. I mean, just like, look at it. Of course it is. <laughs> and then again, with like this, this is one of my all-time favorite monthly because she comes out with um, a new insert every month for people to download. And it's the October I chose the October one because I might post this in September. I might post, it, post this in October. I'm not totally sure. It just depends on my schedule. Hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> and then, so I printed it front and back, but she provides a Monday start and a Sunday start. So I wanted to show that, showcase that. And then this is from Magic Meets Paper Growth. Again, I printed it on acetate and I laminated it. I don't know why I was just really in a mood to laminate things, I guess. <laughs> And then this is from Life is Monica, and it's a journaling card. So I just really like the way this whole looks. Like the browns really match EO Edit's self care browns, and like just this over top. And so, yeah, so this is a journaling card. You can print front to back. And then this one's from EO Edits. So I just printed that front to back as well and laminated it. And then we have like a finances section. And this little cover page here is from Debbie Rose Plants. And then we got a sticky note here again, if you want to make quick calculations. And then here's my one of my favorite order trackers of all time, and it's from Nada Notes. And it, I love it because there's these cute little icons, and she actually has a key down here, what they mean for. So like the first column is for if your package is ordered, the second one is for if it's shipped, and the third one is if it's been received. So I love that. And then she has another insert here for expenses. So you just write the date, your details, and the amount. So if you want to track those. And then this is from Studio LTE. And it's something that I really utilize a lot. It's a split payment tracker. And it has a spot for your shop that we ordered from. And the total payment. And then your monthly payment. And then the dates. I put the dates of each payment here. And that's something I always forget about is what date the payment is coming out on. Because there's so many to remember, right? So I like to mention. And I like to also write it on my calendar. Uh, and then here's a freebie from Plan With B. It's your subscriptions. So you have your due date here, your item, the month of purchase. So you can just write in whatever month you started it in and the amount. And then another one from her is reoccurring bills. And you just, it's pretty straightforward. You have your due date, your bill, your month of purchase, the amount. And then to be honest, I'm not sure what the A is for. Um, I would just maybe check it off after the bill comes out right there maybe um sorry i don't know but that's how i would use it and then you have a no spend tracker from hey planner girl and she actually has this is the same design but it says low spend so you can do no spend or you can do low spend which i think is really cool and it's actually um you can edit it in adobe and you can edit um the titles you can put in the month there so you can type everything out and then print it if you want a really clean look i didn't want to do that right now because i wanted to like show you what it looked blank look like blank but yeah and also it has like your guidelines or exceptions your wish list if you have a wish list and then it has a spot for you to tally up your days that you spent and then that you days that you didn't spend so, and then on the back it has something else too which is amazing and it's a non-essential daily spend so any day like for me it'd be like if i purchased something for my planner i would write it in here and then the amount so that's really awesome for me and then well love notebook has a cool one that you can track your paychecks so you write in the date that you got paid, your gross pay, then your net pay, how many hours is on that paycheck, and how many hours of overtime you worked if you work any. So that's a cool way to check your paychecks, especially if your um, schedule is kind of all over the place. Like I know I work shift work, so my paycheck's always different. And then this is an order tracker from Gen B Plans, and it's very straightforward and it's awesome because you can just put the date, the item, S for sent, D for delivered. And then she also has a wish list here that you can use too, which is cool. And then this is from the planner spot. It's from Let's Do This. I printed it on my own. And this is from Hej, Hej Sandra. 
and I love this introverts I'm an introvert <laughs> sometimes you might not be able to tell but I definitely am and this is from Demi Rose plants this alphabet like design here this is from Maria plants I printed this one on acetate and then the, we have a planning routine from the La Lux plants and you have your daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly which I thought is really nice and then we kind of go into the monthly so this is from again from salty 22 we have a year to a uh, glance from I have a couple of these here so you can have options year to glance from my middle planner and on the back I love it because she put the word of the year and I forgot to my word of the year is renewed um and just because we moved into our new house um I wanted to like change my health like just become a whole renewed fresh um version of myself so I forgot to put that in there but that's where you could put that and then I also have a year at a glance from the planner spot and what I use this I usually in my um, actual planner I use it to track my period um, but you could use it to do anything really so it has yeah the front and then I printed it wrong but it has the front January to June and then the back would be July to December but I printed it wrong <laughs> sorry about that but it does it does come with that properly and then this is a 2023 holidays insert from plan with B Again, her inserts usually come front and back with a beautiful floral pattern. And then she actually came up with 2024 already. So of course I wanted to print that out and put that in here. And a 2024 year at a glance. And look how pretty that background is there. And her inserts, again, they start with Sunday or Monday starts. And then this, um, this is kind of like a quarterly um, insert because it has like each quarter on one page and you can write special dates beside the calendar. So this one's for 2023 and it's from Nada Notes. And then we have this fold out one, and this is reminiscent of the Penis Planner Co., but it's from Retinata Notes, too. And it has every, you know, each month on there, and then it has the date. So you could use it for a tracker, you could use it for reference. It's really cool. And then you have your monthly section. So this is from Maria Plans. This is from Ivy Mill Inc. And so is this on the back. And then here we have a month overview from Alicia Sierra. And you have your overview, so you can just write in like anything that's going on from 1 to 31 of the days of the month. You can put your priorities there, and then you can have a little timetable here too. You could use it as a tracker, you could use it as write in like if you're working AM, PM, shift. And then on the back, you can put tasks in your notes. Oh, I didn't even realize this. You can put your tasks in your notes. That's so awesome. Wow, cool. And then another one from her is a month on two page on dated. So it starts on a Monday and then you would just write in the date numbers and put the month here and then yeah, go ahead and use it. And then this one's a dated monthly, a month on two page from Plans of a Virgo, Virgo and it's a beautifully designed one too. Uh, you can tell it's got a pale pink background or like a pale nudie pink. And then it has a beautiful like floral with the like, a, I don't wanna say twigs, twig sounds kind of like dinky but like it's just and look at it it's really nice right <laughs> and then this is january so i printed the whole year in here so you could see so it's dated january february march april may june july august september okay of course i put it oh no yeah this is september september <laughs> october this november december and then there's the back cover page. And then Nada Notes has another freebie here. And it's a month on two page, but it's cool because it's grid inside. So you got your grid on your sidebar here and each like thing calls a grid. And there's a clear header right here where you can put the number. So I think these would be super functional and really nice to look at. And then we have another dated insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And I feel like a lot of people know and love this insert over here. It has your, on the front page, January to December, just like an overview. And then, yeah, again, it's dated and it's really nice. And it's well loved for a reason. And she does these every year, which is super generous. So I printed out the whole year in here. December, there you go. And then this, I wanted to provide like a different kind of style. So this is a horizontal monthly. And this one's from Nada Notes as well. And again, you would just put in your own numbers as the month is, put the month up here somewhere. You could use a sticker to put the month there where that would look really cute. And then it has Monday to Sunday. So it's a Monday start. And then this consistency is key. It's from My Minimal Planner. And then this is another piece of that cardstock from the Dollar Store pack. And then I got some sticky notes there. This is a really cool freebie from Hey Planner Girl. So she has the whole alphabet A to Z. 
And my word of the year, like I said, is renew or renewed. And what you do is you just edit this, these parts right here. So it comes with different look color, different, what am I saying? Different styles of fonts. So it looks like a real like definition in the plant, in, in a dictionary or something. And then, yeah, so you can choose any letter that you want and any word that you want and write anything that you want down there too. So it's super cool. And then this is from, this is another one of my freebies that I just made. And then this is from Magic Meets Paper. And so is the back, little sweet, little savage. And then we're on to like um, health section, like health wellness. So again, Salty 22. And then this is a freebie from Ash Plans, skincare routine. I thought it was really pretty front and back. This is from Bite Size Plants, it's Smart Goals. And it has the definition that leads all the way to the back. I like it how she didn't just scrunch it up onto one page. She actually like made it fit to a, a pocket sized um, insert because she has it in a bunch of different sizes, right? And then this is a goals insert from the planner spot. So you can put your goal right here and what steps you're going to take towards achieving that goal daily, weekly, or monthly. And then EO Edits has a goals insert here too. And you put your goal in here and then you see your action steps. She labels as daily habits and your yearly goal, but you could put your daily goal in here if you wanted to in your action steps. You can use it however you want. And then she always has a beautiful design on the back too. This is a freebie from Well Loved, Note well Loved Notebook. And I've done it a couple times throughout the year so far because we are in September. So the year is gone, the year is almost over or close to being over. And then, so it has your top five goals, um, four pillars of things that you want to work on. So finance, health, growth, and learning, life and relationships. So what about those categories is that you want to work on? And then you have a little area here for like goals for your life and relationship, your health, your growth and learning. So you put in your, like your kind of goals here, you put in habits to stop, habits to adopt, things you're gratitude, where you're grateful for, and like a quote of the year. So it's, I think this is pretty cool. And then this is from EO Edits as a seasonal reset. And I actually usually do this every season. Um, and it's where you put the year and then the season. So like what is coming up actually today is the second day of autumn. So I put autumn and then things you want to focus on, things you want to buy, listen, eat, watch, visit. So it's just kind of a fun thing to do. And then here's an insert from Dove Note Co. And it's for like gratitude and it has one to 31. So every day you can write down something that you're grateful for. So I like that a lot too. Something I try to implement every day in my actual planning routine. This is a skincare routine from Puff and Pages Co. And it has like daily, PM, weekly, monthly. And you can put your steps right here and what products you use right there. So that's kind of neat. My skincare routine could be better. It's pretty basic right now. I just use like retinol some days <laughs> for the, the days that I remember. I could probably use this so I can remember actually what days I want to use it on. And what else do I do? Well, I wash my face every day. I use a CeraVe moisturizer, like makeup remover wash. It's really gentle, but it takes off all your makeup amazingly. It's awesome. And like I get fake eyelash extensions and they say that, that it's one of the only face washes that you should use. So if you have fake eyelashes or anything like that, you, try the CeraVe face wash that says is able to remove makeup as well, but it's, it's very gentle. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's basically the sum of my skincare routine and I'm 32, so I should probably get it together, but there we go. And this is a meal plan from Puff and Pages Co. And it has the days of the week and then you can put breakfast, lunch, dinner, or stuff or snacks or supper. And, but I know one of my friends, I made a planner for her and she does a lot of meal planning, but she only meal plans her dinners really. Cause she has kind of the same thing for lunch is kind of the same thing for breakfast every day. So you could just use this whole spot for just dinners if you wanted to, or whatever you wanted. And then there's a shopping list on the side. This is a food log from Well Love Notebook. And it's kind of cool. You can put your date, what food it is, what kind of rating and what notes you could put instead of like a food, you could even put like a recipe. So, cause I know like you probably tried a ton of foods and you know, if you don't like something, if you don't, but a recipe is kind of a little bit harder to remember if you liked or if you didn't like it, or you can even make one for you and make one for your partner. And then this is a My Minimal Planner, Kindle Unlimited Reads. So you can track just kind of um, things that you wanted to get done or read. And you don't have to use it just for Kindle because I don't have a Kindle, but you can just use it for any titles and any, uh, any books that you want to keep track of. So it has a spot for the genre, title and author. And then here's another one, books to read from Plan With B. And then here's one from Rhea Collection. And it's just book, has a spot for your title, the author, the genre, number of pages, which is kind of cool. Chapters, cool. Start date, your end date, and your review. So it's a book review. 
Here's one from Plan With B, and it's for new releases. So you, new releases, movies, books, shows, podcasts, anything, music that you wanted to, like, is coming out. You can just write it there. And then here's another review for it, but this one's for TV series from Rhea Collection. So you have your title here, your start date, your end date, your season, your number of episodes, and then you can check off what episode that you've watched, probably. That's how I would do it. And then your rating, and then your little review. And then we have a habit tracker for the month. So it has one to 31 days. This is from Nada Notes. You just put your things that you want to track here and then you just check off, put a little dot, whatever you want to go with the tracker. I would put the month in this little spot right here. And then you have one for the year too. So this would be like for reoccurring tasks. So you could put things like an oil change, haircut, changing my toothbrush, um, washing my makeup brushes, and then you just check off with whatever month that you did it. And then, I, oh yeah, I have another, oh yeah, so I printed this one right from the planner spot, this year at a glance, see how it says July, December on the back and January to June. So this is what I would use to track my period. But again, you can use it for reference. You can track anything you want. And then here's a beautiful, like a kind of, it's not a floral, but it's a, what's that word I'm thinking? Foliage, <laughs> foliage from Rhea Collection. And this is from Life is Monica. It's front and back. And on the back, it has a self-care checklist. And I kind of had an idea is that you could use your label maker or you can use a marker. You don't need a label maker. You could just use a marker, a permanent marker to write on transparent sticky notes and for a self-care checklist. And you could put like warm blanket, tea, shower, um, bath, doing your nails. And you could actually move these and put them on your daily or your weekly, like how a task card system works. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. And then you, from the Love Lux plan, it has a self-care. I printed it on vellum. And then she has this other thing you can print out too. So I use it as a background. And then that's the back that I printed on there from her. And then we're into like kind of like a trackers area. Sorry, this video is kind of long, but I'm trying to go really in depth on how I would use each insert so you can get an idea if you're not totally sure. Um, just because this is really more focused on, like I don't have anything filled out. So I want to explain it at this point. I, I was debating on whether I should fill things out for an example, but I kind of wanted to show you what the inserts look like by themselves. So you could really see if you would think it was right for your planner or not. But let me know in the comments if that would be something that would be a good idea for next video if I do another one. Um, I don't know what planner size I would do it in maybe because I've already, I think I've done A6. I've done A5, I've done personal. So now I've done pocket. I think I have a happy planner mini one coming. But if like you would prefer the inserts to be filled out or if you'd like them to be blank or a mix, I guess. But this is from Demi Rose Plans and we have a tr cleaning tracker here from Studio L2E. And it's awesome because you have your daily task here and then your checklist 1 to 31. So your days of your month, you have your weeklies. So you have one week one to week five, depending on how many weeks are in the month things that you would do on the weekend weekly basis and things that you would do on a monthly basis here and then this is for like the last time i and again it could be like kind of like the reoccurring task the last time i changed my toothbrush last time i rotated my mattress the last time i uh changed my water filter and then this is also the same kind of thing from kimori kimori stationery um but you would just put the task right here and then you would write the dates below it and then here's a vehicle maintenance from not notes and a discount code from Studio LTE. So like for shop discount codes and your percentage, what the code is and then the shop that it pertains to. And then you have a medicine log from Studio LTE and you can write the date, the time that you took the medicine, what medicine it was, and then you can have a spot for writing what symptoms you have or like what other notes. Like if you already have a diagnosis, what your diagnosis is. Or if you have a doctor's appointment coming up, write it in there. Well, this one is actually for doctor's visits and it's from Studio LTE too. And you have a spot for the doctor's name, date, time, your reason for your visit, questions and concerns, your diagnosis. So you can have this open actually at your doctor's appointment or if it's over the phone when you, while you're on the phone. So you can remember everything that's being talked about. My doctor actually told me that. He's like, I prefer patients to have a pen and paper out when we're in a session together because then they can actually remember what I'm saying. So don't think it's rude. They actually want you to be recording down what you guys are talking about. And then a spot for if you need a prescription, if you have any instructions, comments, notes. And then you have this little spot here, it's cute. You can put a completed or canceled. And then you have a follow-up area for, or a reschedule spot. That's pretty cute. And then you have My Minimum Planner. This is a freebies tracker. And so <laughs> you could print this out 
And while you're watching this video, write down every shop or look in the description box and copy the description box for like every shop down there and put it on here. And then you have a swatches guide from Nada Notes. So I just put a swatch of the pen or whatever, the highlighter in there, and then the name and the color. And then that about sums it up, you guys. So I used a page lifter for what I did is I took a piece of lamination again. This time I took a piece of five millimeter lamination, so it's a little bit sturdier and heavier. And um, I hole punched it myself. And actually you could do a double hole punch because like they're meant to like slide around a little bit. So when you close your planner, it slides out with the inserts. So the inserts don't curl up in the back here. So you could, I would put two hole punches in there actually like side by side. But anyways, so then we have that. And then we have, this is from Neutral Minimal Co. Hello Sunshine. And then this is from Mel's Pl Minimal Planner. It's a fall agenda front and back. And then these are from Salty22. These little cards here, you have your morning mind your agenda key, your delegation key, and then pop these back in here. I just wanted to write as like lots of cards so you can like have different options. This is from um, Planner Spot, Welcome to the Shit Show, <laughs> Admission One. This is from Zarina Plan, it's a really beautiful, brave card. I wish this was like see-through so you could see it. And I think that is all I have, friends. So, I, oh yeah, just a couple extra inserts in there. Where, but yeah, so that is the freebies planner for the pocket. Um, I hope you got some inspiration and found some things that you liked. And thank you so much to all these shops. Like it makes me like so, so grateful that all this stuff is provided for us. Like the times, I know times for me are tough right now. Um, trying to cut back on everything. And just like sometimes when you get a hankering, you want to add something new to your planner, but you don't want to spend any money and you don't really know what it is. Go to your freebies list and like, try out a new insert and also new inserts are great to try out too if you want to try a new planner size uh, i would print out the insert and then test it out cut it test it out see if you like that size and before you buy a planner right just hopefully save money that way from purchasing something that you're not going to use but so i really hope you enjoyed it i had fun making this um again go to the any any questions at all please ask me in below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye guys